In this question, it says, at a local medical center, the incidence of nurse-related needle stick injuries in the first year of employment is three times higher than that of nurses working three years or more. Wishing to reduce the incidence of needle stick injuries, the hospital administration hires a consultant to determine if the hospital should hire only those nursing school graduates whose training includes formal instruction in universal precautions. To test this idea, 40 nurses who reported needle stick injuries during their first year, so that we're all talking about first year, 40 nurses who had needle stick injuries, okay? To, de to test this idea, 40 nurses who reported needle stick injuries during their first year of employment are compared with 40 nurses who reported no needle stick injuries during, th during their first year. So this uh, group is con compared with 40 nurses with needle, no needle stick injury. Okay, so they're both first years, one group needle stick injury, the other group no needle stick injury, and the number is also the same. Just getting an idea of the question, right? The school of all 80 nurses are the schools of all 80 nurses are contacted and asked about formal training programs for universal precautions. The results of the study are presented below. Which of the following formulas would most likely to be used to analyze data from this study? So this is the type of question which used to freak me out a little bit, where I really don't know what to do. Because the question says, which of the following formulas would, would most likely to be used to analyze da data from this study? They're not saying analyze what. They're just saying, how are we going to analyze this data from this? They're not saying what to find. I mean, how am I going to figure out what kind of analysis do I have to do? Then I realized that the key to the question is discovering what kind of study this is. We studied these people, you know, we, we took, uh, we took the, we tabulated the numbers for people who had needle stick injuries compared to people who didn't have needle stick injuries, and we kind of looked backwards, okay, because we took uh, these uh, reported uh, injuries, and then we looked backwards, so this was a, a, a res retrospective study, okay, and whenever we look at retrospective study, there is only one equation we use to analyze. That's going to be the odds ratio. If this was a prospective study, we would, we would have used a relative risk. Okay, So as soon as I realized that this is a, a retrospective study, the only thing, the only way we can analyze data is going to be by odds ratio. And that's the only thing we can do. If they, it, if this was a prospective study, I would have used relative risk. So that I think that's a key to the question. So finding odds ratio is not that difficult now. It's A times D, C times B, right? I mean, we all know the equation. So A would be uh, 21 times 34 divided by C is going to be 19 times 6. So does that match any of our values? Yes, it does with choice F. So that would be the right answer. If if this was a, a prospective study, we would have used a relative risk. And what is the equation for relative risk? It's going to be A by A plus B divided by C divided by C plus D. Okay, we'd have used that if that was a prospective study. But in that, in this particular scenario, it's not a prospective study. It's a retrospective study. So that's why we are used. We're, we're using odds ratio.